What's up, LSU fans? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another LSU post-game recap slash review slash whatever else you want to call it. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how Ole Miss quarterback John Rice Plumley was able to rush for 200-plus yards on this LSU Tiger defense, and we're going to do that up next. Before we dive into the plays, I kind of wanted to fast forward a little bit and just kind of give my thoughts on what happened on Saturday night. Sometimes the opposing team just makes plays, you know, and sometimes the opposing team just has players that are as good, if not better, than your team. Now, I don't know if I can really say that Plumlee is better than anybody on that LSU defense, but there is one thing that's unarguable. And he is just as fast, if not faster, than anybody on LSU's defense. And, you know, some of the plays that we gave up on Saturday night literally just came down to that. It's hard to get a real official 40 time on any of these guys before they go into the combine coming out for the NFL draft. But it does kind of seem universal that Plumlee is in the 4-3 range, which... That's blazing. So I think some of it just had to do with that. Plumlee just straight up outran some of our guys. But the biggest issue that I saw was a lack of detail in our defensive players. Uh, specifically the linebackers just completely ran themselves out of play at times. And this isn't a surprise, but just the overall defensive tackling could have prevented some of them uh, long runs by Plumlee. So let's dive into some of these plays. This first one is the 46-yarder, his first long touchdown run of the game. And this one's relatively simple to me. I think the coaching had our defense in position to make plays. But this one, there's nowhere. There's no one home. So in this particular play, everybody on defense bites to the fake to the running back. But I specifically want to highlight chase on on the outside he's clearly supposed to have edge containment and i mean he he crashes more than anybody and as soon as he crashes this goes back to the plumley 4 3 40 time there's just nobody's gonna run him down and that's quite literally as simple as this play is that play is the one i think you can look at and say everybody failed the coaches failed to have the players in position but the players also failed to just play their assignments this one on the other hand is a little different i would say the majority of the defense actually read this one very well Braden fahoko gets into the backfield but misses the tackle but focus on jacob queen and grant delpit they both do a good job at the snap and diagnose the play, but both of them overrun the play. Specifically Delpit, who just... I, I don't know. I don't think there's any other way to say it. That that was just bad. And then on the last play, I think this is another one where initially they do a good job on assignment. I think Chase on does a good job staying home for the reverse. Delpit, once again, way too aggressive and takes himself out the play. Same thing goes for Jacob Phillips. But if you look at Patrick Queen, Patrick Queen had him. Patrick Queen was there, and he just he missed it. I feel like Jacoby Stevens did a pretty good job setting the edge on this one. But Glenn Logan, 97, man, his, his man's taking him for a ride. But I feel like this is another play where you can take a look at that 4-3 speed. And at one point, they even referenced Plumlee being clocked at a 4-2, which is just insane. But... Even Delpit, as aggressive as he was, as much as he ran himself out of that particular play, if that's a guy that runs a 4-5, four, 4-6, four, he might be able to get in there and make the tackle, but not today. All right, guys, that's about all I have for today. I just wanted to take a quick, quick look at what I thought LSU could have done better on Saturday night in regards to stopping Plumlee on the ground. There was a lot of talk during the game, and there's still a lot of talk now about getting rid of Aranda and just... From watching these particular plays, and I watched a whole lot more than just these three. I watched a whole lot more of Plumlee carrying the football and then the Ole Miss running back. But I really can't put any of this on Aranda. I think I think he did his job on 
making the players be in position to make the play. And sometimes it just comes down to your players not making the play and another player making another play. All right, guys, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Until next week, as always, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Please consider hitting the notification bell so you know when more videos just like this one are posted. Uh, go Tigers, and see you guys later.